everybody welcome back to my youtube channel <laughs> today we have a beautiful belly dance class in program as you know this month of august i'm proposing a series of classes throughout the entire month of belly dance kundalini rhythms dance and go to see yoga so i will post three times per week Wednesday I will post Goddess Yoga, Friday I will post about Belly Dance and on Sunday I will post about Kundalini Rhythms Dance. So you can have a full experience of my offering and everything I do for the greatest good of all. Today we start with our first Belly Dance class and we're going to learn a beautiful choreography, very simple choreography, I want to add, on the rhythm Maksum. Maksum is a rhythm very popular in Egypt and also throughout the Arabic Peninsula. Um, it has a very ancient origins. Um, it seems they might come from the Persian Empire and then it developed throughout the entire Arabic uh, uh, musical ca uh, culture. It is a 4-4 four, four rhythm. It is a very joyful, upbeat type of rhythm, very festive, you know, very, um, we would say, party-wise in the Western world. But uh, it is used uh, as a basic rhythm in most of the modern music. Uh, but it, it has actually folkloristic origins. So you can find it also in folklore a lot, together with Baladi or Sagir, um, or oh, Masmudi Sagir, sorry. <laughs> so let me go and prepare the body for our dance experience. You don't need to have any belly dance experience for this class. I just invite you to have fun. Enjoy the movement and just experience belly dance as it is. I offer a program where I break down all the basic movements of belly dance and it's my belly dance course for beginners, which is good for people that have never danced before or people that want to refresh their technique. So if you like this class and these classes, because there are going to be four of them at the end of which you, you will have the entire choreography built and you can enjoy it and show it off to your friends and lovers and whoever. But if you want, if you like these classes, then you can maybe consider to um, sign up for my uh, online beginners course. That being said, now it's time to prepare the body for dancing. So we start with a nice opening, opening prayer because the dance for me is a sacred dance style. And then we go into a nice warm up to prepare the body. And then I will break down the first three movements of this choreography. Let's get started. To start, please stand with your feet one fist apart or even less and they are parallel to one another. Your knees are soft, your navel is in and your pelvic area is slightly rotated forward so your sacrum is looking down toward the floor. Your arms are relaxed here your chest is lifted and your shoulders are relaxed. Your chin is parallel to the ground. If you want, you can even tuck it in. So you elongate this back part of your neck and everything is nicely, energetically and physically aligned. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Feel your feet anchoring to Mother Earth, to the ground beneath you. You have to feel your entire feet, your toes, your heel, the center part of your feet touching and anchoring 
into Mother Earth. I like to activate the energy of Mother Earth by oscillating my body back and forth. Keep your navel in as I circle my hands slowly to the side. These magnetize the Earth energy and attract the Earth energy up through your legs and hands. Breathe long and deep. And take a deep breath in, lift your arms, bring your arms all the way up, palms together, run your hands down. together above your head and round your hands down. And one more time, this time bring your arms up, palms together, bring your hands down. Touch your forehead, touch your heart, the level of your heart, move your hands forward, circulate the energy of your heart by opening up to the universe. As you're offering your dance to the universe, to the quantum field that creates all. Set your intention of joy, love, and gratitude within your cosmic womb or hara if you're a man. And rise the energy back into your heart. Expand it all around your energetic field and just receive it. Seal it into your heart and bow to the infinite creative energy of all. Now we can warm up the body. Okay. Start to walk on your place. Never in. Step your foot on the ground, your feet on the ground, on the rhythm. Boom. Boom. So. Change direction.
change. Bring back your attention to your feet.
see if you have a nice skirt or large pants like mine, you can do this, which is nicer. <laughs> now inhale, bring your hands here. By the way, this is the song that we're going to use for the choreography. Just same exercise, just shift the weight from one foot to the other quicker. Lift your heels faster. And see what happens to your hips. Keep your elbow in. Twist. Sound. But usually the darbuka has this shape, it's usually bigger 
and it has the top, um, right now they are making it with a synthetic type of uh, skin, but originally it was made of animal skin, um, because it creates really a beautiful sound. Um, by the law of using everything that comes from the animal that nurtures us. The, um, the body was originally made in wood. This is a, uh, made of clay, so I think also it's for that reason it doesn't have a very good sound. Originally it was uh, in wood and it was all engraved. There are beautiful, amazing darbuka out there. Those that have synthetic skin on top, usually right now they are in metallic material, the body, and they have all kinds of stones and decoration on them. If you look online at the Darbuka, you will see amazing, beautiful Darbuka that you want to buy them all. So I don't look for them usually. <laughs> so I don't, I, don't, I don't even want to watch and see the, the pictures. So the Usually when they make this sound for the rhythm, they use this drum that's called the buka. And the rhythm in, um, in the Arabic music is composed by three major sounds. One is what we call vocally, boom. It's a, a heavy sound made with the full hands. We see I, at the center is more grounded. As I said, this one doesn't really sound well, so you can imagine on a good darbuka, the sound is really doom. The other sound, the second major sound is a tuck. I have to catch the right angle. Okay, so boom, tuck. So the tak is this high pitch sound that on a better tarbuka will really sound as a high pitch. <laughs> so the third sound, uh, we vocally say S, but it is a no sound. It's a pause between the doom and the tak, or between, uh, dum, uh, between doom, tak, there is a pause and another ta doom. <laughs> okay? That pause creates the rhythm because if there wasn't that pause, we would have only dum tak, ta dum tak coming all together without having intonation. Okay, so when you play the darbuka and you make the sound, I'm not gonna make it with, with, with this one because it doesn't make any sense. This one doesn't sound good. Um, but when you use uh, other buka from this, uh, making this sound, the doom and the tak, and you make it these small poses, you create the major rhythm. So in this case, the uh, maximum rhythm is dum tak esta dum esta es dum tak esta dum esta es dum tak esta dum esta es dum tak esta dum esta. Without the S, it shows, it sounds like this. Dum tak ta dum ta. 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 So, on the rhythm, if uh, on the tempo, it becomes dum tak ta dum ta. Dum tak ta dum ta. Dum tak. Sometimes I go on the tack, okay? Um, 
but you have to choose one of the two and uh, it, you don't need to have always the accent on the doom during the choreography you can switch from accent on the doom and accent on the tap that's what i was trying to tell you before okay but pick one because it gives more energy emphasis and meaning to your uh, dance and it makes it way more fun okay so let me um show you one rhythm so we can hear it together and then i go into the steps class a new choreography where I break down the rhythm and I tell you where to put the accent, how to build the movements. So that one is another course that you can check out on my website. That said, um, stop with the marketing, let's dance again. So if you have understood, basically every time that you um, build on the rhythm maximum a 4-4, any step that fits that pattern, one, two, three, four, is good. To make it a little bit more interesting, as I said before, you put the accent on the doom. In this case, we're going to put the accent on the doom. So you choose where you want to put the accent. But I do suggest you to put it on the uh, 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 emphasis on the accent because really it gives um, energy, otherwise it will look like a flat movement, okay? So the first movement of this choreography will be this. Keep your feet parallel, you, they can be like a two fists apart if you like. Um, I like to have them slightly closer because it gives me more range of motion. So if you have like one fist apart or one fist and a half apart, it's good. Um, because you need to use your knees in order to push your hips side to side. Basically, it's a fast, quick and sharp shift of weight from one... <laughs> from one uh, foot to the other. So here, my weight is completely on my left foot and my right foot is on the tippy toes. My hips are pushing to the left. So if I want to push to the right, I do the opposite. Shift my weight to the right side all the weight is on the right foot, the left foot is lifted, my hips are on the right side. I turn around so you can see from behind. So from here, neutral, and I start pushing to my left. Obviously, you have to hold your navel in, okay? Otherwise, this sharp movement doesn't happen that nicely. Now my weight is on the left foot, the right is lifted. Now I push to the right, okay? And left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. See, you can even walk. <laughs> okay, this one is our 
first the movement. The music does an opening, so we count like one, two, three, four, and we start right away by doing eight times this movement. And it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna lift my pants because they go under my feet. Um, so if I combine this movement with the rhythm, or with the tempo first, let's go on the tempo first, okay, without music. So from here, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? On the rhythm would be dum tak ta dum ta dum tak ta dum ta dum tak ta dum ta dum tak ta dum ta. On the dum, I swing my hips side to side. One more time with no music. Again, from here, one, two, three, four. Dum tak ta dum. Let me try with some music. And I choose something that is slower. <laughs> one is 
attack seam. I'm literally pushing my hip out while this leg is stepping on the side. So from here is step left, down. Step left, together. Step right, together. Step right, together. So it moves on the same line. It doesn't do any circle. Okay, it's a sharp movement. It's a, it's, it is pretty used in the folkloristic and ballad as well style. Again, is step together, step together, step together, step together. With your hands, becomes something like this: dum together, out together, out together, out together, dum 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 tak ta dum ta dum tak ta dum ta dum tak ta dum ta dum tak ta dum ta. Eight times also for this one. I have my scarf falling. <laughs> so yes, just keep in mind for uh, it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is eight time. Okay, is four times. Two times on one side, two times on the other side. So with the tempo is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You start on the left side and your last will be on the right, okay? Remember this is important. Let's repeat it as we chant the maxim together. From here, one, two, three, four. Dum tak ta dum ta. 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 Okay? So we go twice on one side and twice on the other side. Um, have you noticed that sometimes I did dum tak ta dum ta? That's another layer. You can put like a small shimmy while you're bringing the legs together. If you feel it like doing it, try it. Otherwise, it's fine if you don't do it. When I will teach you the full choreography, I will teach you also some embellishment that will make it a little bit more interesting. Let's try it with the music. to actually 
manifest to do while you're dancing with me. Um, this one, it's an edge shape going forward, okay? So you can decide it to do it in diagonal, a diagonal shape, I will show you the difference. Or if it's too difficult for you, you can just do a forward edge shape, okay? So forward edge shape from here, twist your hips. Remember this one is not a technical class, so I'm going very fast on these technical details. But you can ask me any question at any time and I will be more than happy to answer you, okay? You can ask your questions in the description box below. Um, so from here to the front, twist your hips back, your right hip back, and then slowly you move it forward in a nice curvy shape. And you are already twisted with your left hip back and now you move the right, the left hip back. Now you move the nice curvy shape, your left hip forward. This one, if you want to not make your life too difficult, it's fine. So you have done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight four times, okay? If you decided to do the diagonal, maybe you know already what it is, you know that you have to lift your heels, so it becomes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nicely done with your navel, your abdominal muscles, drawn in so you make a nice accent on on the movement it becomes more fluid as well so let's do two steps of the previous movement and then we do this one okay then let's do it is one two three four five six seven eight one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Notice, I'm not changing level. I'm keeping my body very, very grounded and always on the same level. Usually people mm, with this type of movement have the tendency to change level. Sometimes it fits, sometimes it's good to do it, but I don't want to do it for this choreography. I want you to keep this grounding energy. These are folkloristic rhythm. They have a deep connection with Mother Earth. It actually engines the energy from Mother Earth. So if you start to go and lift, you bring the energy too high and uh, there is no grounding. Remember that belly dance has origins in the shamanic world, in the ancient shamanic world. It was used for healing, for ceremonies of um, uh, fertility, weddings, even delivering babies. So it, it was a really sacred dance and it was done for Mother Earth um, by the priestesses. So let's keep this in mind, connected to Mother Earth, okay? Let's do it with the music, this one. Only the eight shape forward. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 All together. Let's try all the choreography together with no um, music, okay? I'm having, okay, my full art, 
uh, my scarf are going too long. So, <laughs> um, let's start from here with the first step. Do you remember which one it is? Hips pushed side to side on the doom. Doom tuck, ta doom tuck. 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 Second step, the limping duck. Doom tuck, ta doom tuck. Doom tuck, ta doom tuck. The doom, your hip goes up. The third movement is the H shape. Doom tuck, ta doom tuck. Okay, let's put these things together without music and then with the music. I chant the rhythm. One, two, three, four. Dum tak ta dum tak. 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 Dum tak. Have you noticed how from here I nicely shift here for the H shape? Check the movements of your arms and make them very nice and elegant. Okay, you can do this if that's okay with you at the moment, but with the confidence you want to uh, shift the movement of your hands kindly. The first movement is one, two, three, four. I like to move my eyes in the direction of my hips and then here. I will show you that there are other movements that you can do, but I don't want to put too much on your plate for today. Let's try with the music. Let's do some 
cool down for our class and we do the closing so that you are free to go and live your beautiful life. <laughs> Take a deep breath in, stretch up, exhale, bend forward, reach the floor and move your body slightly uh, back and forth. Keep your legs straight if you can. Bend your knees. Your knees are inside your elbows. And then stretch up. Embrace your arms, inhale, exhale, drawing the energy, integrate, bend to the side. Now left leg, reach behind with your right hand, knees it together, stretch the front of your thigh. Gently release, change foot, right leg behind, reach out. Time inhale. This time join your palms. Bring the energy down. Align your mind with your heart. Open your heart to the universe. Seal the energy in your womb or higher point. Rise the energy. Expand your heart energy into the universe. Receive inspiration and guidance from the goddess within you and all around you. Thank you so much for this beautiful class. Thank you for so much for watching my class and thank you so much for dancing with me. I will put all the links and information of my courses in the description box below. For those of you that requested how to make a donation for these classes, since they are completely free, uh, on the top right on my um, picture uh, on my channel, there is my PayPal button for uh, donation, but I will put also the link in the description box uh, below, uh, both for PayPal and for my Venmo. So feel free to make a donation if you want. It's not mandatory and it's not a request. It's just to uh, answer those that ask me to make one. This is my gift to you from my heart to yours. So I hope you're enjoying these classes and see you next week with a beautiful uh, belly dance class, like the continuation of this one, and another goddess yoga on Mary Magdalene, and of course, uh, Sunday I will start with a beautiful 
Kundalini Rhythm Dance class focused on harmonizing our beautiful magnetic field. As of now, I kiss you a beautiful rest of your day or evening. Please drink a glass of water, take it easy for at least 10 minutes before starting your daily or evening routine. Bye bye, see you next time!